question. Um, first, before I get started, I want to respect the day and uh, honor, honor and respect those that lost their lives on this day 20 years ago. Um, the families that lost loved ones and honor and respect to the men and women that served our country fighting for our freedoms after that terrible day. Um, obviously, uh, a very well played game by Stanford. Credit to David Shaw uh, and his team. Uh, they came in extremely well prepared. Uh, I thought they executed their game plan uh, tremendously well. Uh, the quarterback played exceptional uh, as a young person uh, and uh, really didn't make any mistakes, uh, didn't have the unforced errors. Um, when you look at it across the board, uh, they beat us in every phase. Uh, they beat us. Uh, as like we said in there, uh, in each and every phase, you look at the execution, they out executed us. Uh, and when you look up, um, we did not do what we did in the first game. Uh, we had, uh, we got beaten in penalties. Uh, we got beat on third down uh, efficiency. Uh, and, you know, we get beat in the turnovers. Uh, we didn't get turnovers. Um, it's something that um, our team, I could tell in that, in that locker room, how bad it hurt them which is a good thing. Um, I know it's something that they're gonna come back and work uh, extremely hard on to go try to get one to know for next week. Uh, it is early in the season. Uh, it is something that uh, when you lose to the North team, um, you, you have to bounce back. And like I told, uh, told them in there, all their dreams are still out there, uh, but we have to do our job and, and get back to going one to know on the week. And we've got some clean, things to clean up uh, from this football game. Um, I'm proud of the two men that stayed, stayed us up their uh, performance uh, through quarter one all the way through quarter four and their leadership, especially all the way through that game, really stood out to me. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, we'll watch this tape, we'll get it cleaned up, and we gotta come back to work on Tuesday and go get the next one. With that, we'll take any questions that you have. Coach, how much of this? very complimentary game. Your man-to-man -man coverage last week. Mm -hmm. um, how did their lineup, their wide receiver, make that difficult tonight? Um, I, I credit their skilled players and the quarterback. Um, I, I thought that uh, he threw uh, extremely accurate balls uh, that gave his kids chances to make plays, um, and uh, especially on the outside. I thought he did a tremendous job on the back shoulder balls, something that uh, we worked on during the week, and, and they out-executed us. Um, and, you know, um, I thought he did a nice job of, of seeing leverage sometimes inside uh, and pulling the trigger and getting the ball out before the safeties could get there. Um, I thought he played uh, like an experienced player. I was extremely impressed with his performance. Credit to David uh, for preparing him uh, from game one to game two. He stepped in here and had a heck of a game. Clay, you heard the fan frustration out there. What, what is your message to them about the traje traje trajectory of where things are going? Um, it's early in the season. Uh, we lost our first conference game. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing the production of our team through an entire season and looking forward to seeing where we all uh, we add up at the entirety of a season. Um, obviously, uh, this is a, a, step, a step back. Um, you know, from last week's performance, um, but something that I know our kids will react from, uh, and I hope um, our fans, uh, and I know they will, they'll support our players. Um, our, our, they love the, our fans love this university, and, and they love these players, uh, and we'll do our job. Uh, we'll come back out, and we'll, get, we'll continue to get wins and add them up, and we'll see where we are at the end of the season. I know it'll be a successful season at the end. Um, I'm, like I told him in the locker room, uh, I'm, you never want this to happen, ever. Uh, but if it, it's when it's an early one in the season, you, you can li you can live through it. Uh, but you got to correct it extremely fast. Clay, how do you explain that regression from week one to week two? Um, uh, very easily, I thought we got behind in the penalties um, early. Uh, that set us back. You look, we're at four or fourteen on third downs, uh, which ended drives. Uh, uh, and, and we really, when you look at it, gosh, it felt like we just played on the long field all night. I mean, uh, 16 play, 95 yard drive, and then you come back and it's like a 14 play, 90 yard drive. Uh, it just, it, we, we didn't um, get the turnovers, we didn't get the field position, uh, and that's, uh, you know, that's credit to them. I thought they played great special teams. Um, they pinned us deep uh, in special teams. They didn't make the critical error uh, in turning the ball over, uh, and they outplayed us. This is reality. They outplayed us.
But right. penalties have been a problem throughout the, your entire head coaching tenure. Why does that continue to be a problem season after season, game after game? Well, I think we had four last, last week. Uh, I think we won the penalty battle last week. Uh, we lost it today. Uh, let's see how it goes through the entirety of the season. I thought we, you know, I'm not going to agree with every call tonight. I did it. Uh, but, um, you, you know, tonight the, the penalties were not on our side. Uh, but I, I hope that we look more like game one last week, uh, which I thought was an extremely clean game. Um, I hope we get back to that in a hurry. It's, it's still only week two, and we understand that. But mm -hmm. is the offense where it should be in the third year under the same offensive coordinator with a third year starting quarterback? Um, you know, I, one of the things that really hit home to me tonight, like I said, I, I really thought the long field, um, the long field uh, hurt us a little bit offensively. I, you know, when you're having six, when you're having those that many play number of drives, things happen. You know, whether whether all of a sudden you know you have a miss assignment or maybe it's a penalty that sets back. Um, you know, the one thing that I'll, I'll gauge uh, from this tape is. It didn't feel like we had as many explosive plays as we had in week one, um, and credit to credit to Stanford on that. Um, it, it, you know, it's a 28-point night, which which is usually not us. We're usually 35 plus, um, but uh, it, you know, I, I do think there are some positives and some minuses that come out of, at, at this tonight. I continue to see um, our runners uh, and, and the run game continue will continue to improve. I thought we really missed some opportunities in the pass game. Um, I thought we missed a couple in the red zone uh, that, that I thought were there. Um, and, you know, that ended up being a, a big portion of the game, a, a big 10-point swing. Um, and credit to them, they had a couple explosive plays that really, you know, separated us early in that the long run. Uh, as well as you know, the explosive pass in the two-minute drill um, really set a two-point score game, uh, a two-score uh, game uh, off those two explosive plays. Clay, I know this is only one game, but you know a lot of the same issues had come up in last year, the year before that. At what point in your mind do you think you know more extreme measures are, are required in terms of making a change? Making a change where? just in terms of with what you do with your staff or with. The direction of where the team is going. Let, let, let's let's see at the end of the year. Let's see at the end. It's game two. It, it's, it's game two, right? And I, I have total faith in the staff. I have total faith in the men that are in there, players, coaches. Um, we didn't play our best tonight, but but I know this. Uh, at the end of the season, um, see where we're at. See where we're at. Uh, I would ask for. Uh, I, I hope that uh, I, I hope that we look up at the end of the year, and you ask them the question, man, this team really improved from that from that game too. Clay, this is the seventh time in eighth ga eight games that the offense hasn't scored a touchdown in the third quarter. How do you explain that trend? Say it one more time. This is the seventh time in eight games that the offense hasn't scored a touchdown in the third quarter. How do you explain that trend? I did not know that, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, I do feel that Graham does a, a wonderful job of being able to diagnose what's going on, and it's really not even at halftime. It's really after each and every series. Um, he, he does a good job of communicating not only with the guys in the box, but the offensive line coach down, down low. Uh, and there were some, even some adjustments that were made tonight that I thought in the run game that were really good. But he, we actually had you know, Keaton checking, uh, you know, one side of the run to the next. And I thought that's why, I, I thought that's where the run game really got effective. So I thought the communication, uh, the communication was there. And I do think that from drive to drive, he does do a really good job of communication, identifying what we need to do next, adapting and then communicating that with our players. For, for Vi and Isaiah, what's the main thing you take away from this game? Uh, for the defense, at least, um, I think we just have to ex execute better. You know, Coach T.O. calls uh, any call, honestly, we just have to make it happen. Regardless if it's right or wrong, you know, we have to go out there and execute. And uh, our defense thrives on turnovers. And we didn't get any tonight, so I think we just have to step, as, step up as players and just execute better. I feel like the same thing. Uh, even Coach Helen said it, uh, said it earlier, execution all around, special teams, defense, and uh, as a team, really. And uh, one of the biggest things I feel like we just got to Pay attention to the details and bring bring a lot of juice to the game. You know, uh, Coach Harrell always say the most excited team wins. And credit to Stanford tonight, they executed well. But from our point, we just got to do better 
make sure we get everything detailed out. Clay, Stanford took points off the board early tonight and went for it and got the touchdown. How surprised were you that they did that and how important of the of how important was that in your mind for the game? Um, you know, credit to David. I, you know, it was unfortunate we're offsides on a field goal, and uh, you know that goes half the distance, gets it down I think to the two yard line, uh, and um, uh, he I obviously dialed up a great play off off the play action and, and was able to hit, hit the uh, arrow or the flat route. Um, but uh, I, you know, obviously he's on the road uh, coming off a loss. Uh, I thought he was aggressive tonight. Uh, in his play calling, uh, did a nice job all, all the way around. Uh, really put his trust in a young quarterback, and and the young quarterback did a did a heck of a job. I got to give him credit. Uh, I was extremely impressed with his play all night, and you can see the faith that he has in him on that fourth down uh, to be able to go for it in that situation. So one more, Clay. When so many issues pop up on a night like this, what's the most concerning one to you? Um, I, you know, 109 yards of penalties. Um, I thought that that sustained drives for them uh, it put us back offensively uh, a couple times. Um, I don't agree with that. I, I just after coming off a, a game that was so clean uh, and 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 then going back and, and having a night where you have you know nine penalties um, that that's something that uh, we we don't uh, that's the one that really sticks to me is those unforced error, errors off the penalties. Alrighty guys, thank you.